Regardless of whether you are a DIY landlord or a larger property management company, a CRM or customer relationship management solution is extremely important to the overall success and efficiency of your business. In today's podcast, we cover the six practical reasons why you need to use a CRM for your rental business. Without an effective CRM system in place to convert someone from a prospect to a paying customer, you may be losing out on a significant number of clients and money while simultaneously making your job more difficult than it really needs to be. Let's explore this topic and discover why a CRM solution is so crucial and how you can be more effective in your management business when you use one. Hi everybody, my name is Chris and I want to thank you for joining us for another value-packed Tenant Cloud podcast. If you want to be a more informed, better educated, and successful landlord, then stay tuned. With over a decade of property management experience, we bring you short and sweet, bite-sized pieces of incredibly valuable property management tidbits in 15 minutes or less. In today's podcast, we're going to jump right in. Uh, We like to keep these podcasts under 15 minutes or so. Uh, We know you have a busy schedule and we appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to join us. And we hope that this podcast provides you value. I will give you a heads up. This one is packed with information. So I may talk a little bit fast and I'm going to try to keep it under 15 minutes. It may go over that, but just giving you a heads up right off the bat, um, since we do like to keep it under 15 minutes. The first thing I want to jump into is just really quickly recapping why a CRM is so important for your business and what a CRM actually is. A customer relationship management tool effectively tracks your uh, contacts from the time that they're just an an initial prospect all the way through the time that they are actually physically handing you money or paying you money online. And uh, it's typically referred to as something like a sales funnel in a lot of different businesses. And it's not that much different when it comes to the rental industry. You have somebody who you reach out to with your marketing and they eventually reach out to you because they're interested in the product that you are offering. And make no mistake that when you have a rental property that you are marketing to rent, that is your product. And the person who inquires about that product is considered a prospect. The time from which they become a prospect to the time that they become an applicant to the time that they become a tenant, that is the progression of your sales funnel in the rental industry. And so we're going to jump right into the reason number one why it's important to have a CRM system in place. Number one reason is because you want to be collecting the information at the top of the funnel. What do I mean by that? It's exactly what I just uh, referred to a second ago is the time that somebody sees your listing online for your rental property, they see that initial marketing information that you've put out there and they reach out to you. They are providing you with usually their name, their email, and their phone number. And if you do not have a efficient way of collecting and storing that information in an organized fashion, you're really missing out on uh, reaching out to that person in the future because they're in your market. They're in your target demographic. They clearly saw your marketing message and they want or at least are interested in the product that you are offering. So you need to capture that information from that initial point of contact and track their progress from the very start of the sales funnel. And again, make no mistake, if you are leasing a rental, you are selling a product. And having a sales funnel is essential to your success as a DIY landlord or just even as a property management company. Reason number two, you need to be storing information and have it securely stored with redundancy. What do I mean by that? If you're just putting this information down in in an Excel spreadsheet or you are putting it on just a local hard drive or even, God forbid, you are putting it on a pen and paper then you have a higher chance of losing out on that database that you are building of existing um, contacts. And the entire goal is to build up this sales funnel and build up a database of contacts, of qualified contacts, people who are in your demographics, they're in your target market, they're interested in the product that you have to offer. You are trying to store a and create a database of contacts for your CRM. And that's why you're using the CRM. If you're putting that information in a place that can easily be lost or you cannot uh, get into that information easily, no matter where you are, then that can cause issues down the road. So 
The number two reason why you want to use a CRM system is because you want to be able to store that information secure, securely and have it backed up, which is usually what online solutions, cloud-based solutions do is both of those things. A, they're typically secure, and two, they're typically redundant, meaning they're, they're backed up on multiple servers in multiple locations around the world. So even if something were to happen to one of those server uh, databases, it would still be backed up on a secondary or even a third. Reason number three that you want to use a CRM is accessing the information easily. And the way that you're able to do that is, uh, again, cloud-based solutions and access. Uh, in the case of Tenant Cloud, obviously, uh, Tenant Cloud is a software solution for property managers and DIY landlords, is that you access the information in the cloud. And accessing the information, A, from no matter where you are in the world, but also uh, so that all of the team members have access to the same information in a live database that is, you know for sure that that information is updated and up to date. And nobody's looking at uh, different information other than what information is live in that, that specific moment. So make sure that you have a cloud-based solution and it can be accessed from any, anywhere in the world and that it is a live system, meaning the minute that you make updates, it is available to everybody who, is, who has access to that system. That could be leasing agents, that could be uh, just administrators, that could be office managers. Uh, basically, you want anybody who needs to have access to that information to be able to access the live version of that CRM system. Number four, a CRM system allows you to analyze customer behavior. What do I mean by that? Uh, analyzing the progress of the contact from prospect to applicant to tenant is extremely important to any uh, property manager or landlord because it allows you to better understand um, who is becoming a paying customer and who is not. And it allows you to document and detail your interact with interactions with them along the way as the contact progresses through your sales funnel. And so being able to pull that data out um, will allow you to better analyze the customer behavior down the road. Number five, a CRM allows you to market more effectively based on the data that you're putting into the system. And you'll hear me frequently say this on both Tenant Cloud webinars and on podcasts and even in some of our blog posts that you need to... Um, you need to be able to monitor the information that you're putting out and making sure that it's high quality information that you're putting in. And you need to focus on the information that you're putting into the system because the information that you put into the system is only is, is going to have a huge impact on the information you get out of the system. And the information you get out of the system is only as good as the information is that you're putting in. And so when you're putting in the information that you're going to later then use to market more effectively, it has to be high quality. It needs to be on point. And once you have that information in the system, it allows you to understand, better understand what works and what doesn't. Uh, it allows you to review, again, who progressed down the sales funnel and who fell off and maybe even determine why. Um, it allows you to develop a better understanding of your target demographic and how you are interacting with them and how many points of contact you have with them, uh, what their responses were, things that they said, uh, so on and so forth. It allows you to track their feedback. And it just allows you to have a better understanding of who you're reaching with your marketing message. Because if you're getting a lot of contacts, but those contacts end up being uh, not qualified or not qualified enough, or it's not the demographic that you need to be reaching with your marketing message, you won't really know that unless you're actually tracking it and being able to analyze it in um, a very simple format. And so that is a the number five reason, which personally for me is one of the biggest reasons for having a CRM is because you can spend all the money in the world on marketing your product, which is your rental. But at the end of the day, if you're reaching the wrong audience, then you're going to have a vacancy sit even longer. And nobody wants that, especially if you are the owner of a rental property or you're responsible for renting uh, out a rental property. So being able to really key in and zone in on your demographic and making sure that you are reaching the right people is extremely important uh, for any product, especially for a rental product. And being able to market more effectively is extremely important in this industry. 
The number six reason and the final reason for using a CRM is you want to enhance the customer experience. It's easier to look intelligent and to seem like you know what you're talking about when you can easily review every interaction that you're having with someone previously and you can simply pick up where you left off. There's nothing worse than having a tenant call you and say, hey, I'm interested in looking or applying for that rental property that we toured a few days ago. Uh, you spoke with so-and-so and I'd really like to uh, get that application and you are completely lost as to who in the world this person is. Whereas if you have a CRM and you have their phone number, you have their name, you have their email, and you've been putting in these notes and you've been putting in all of the interactions that you've had with this person from day one, you just come across as a lot more intelligent and a lot more informed and you know where to pick up based on where you left off. And so for that reason, it that one simple uh, that one simple thing allows you to enhance the customer experience a lot more than what you would if you didn't have the CRM. Unless you have this steel mind trap that just keeps all of the information you can reference back to it, and you know people by their names and what you what you talked about and what property you toured with them and so on and so forth. If you're like me, you're not that kind of a person and you need a system, a database to refer back to, to be like, oh yeah, I, I do remember talking to you. And yeah, we talked about this and you really liked this about the property and yeah, for sure. Let me send you over a link and you can apply and yada, yada, yada. It just makes the entire process so much more seamless with a potential tenant. And those first and those initial interactions with a potential tenant are always the most important because they're not a tenant yet and they need to be comfortable with you as the landlord or as the property manager that they're going to be interacting with on a regular basis and feel comfortable moving into a contractual agreement in the term in um, relationship with a, a leasing agreement and handing you money and depending on you for maintenance requests and handling those maintenance requests and issuing them a refund for their deposit when they move out and not charging them an arm and a leg. And all of this comes into building rapport with this uh, customer at the very early stages of that relationship. And if you're doing a poor job of that initially, then chances are it's only going to go downhill from there. And so being able to really um, take advantage of that those initial points of contact and to be able to really put up a uh, good first impression with that person and really sound intelligent and know what you're talking about goes a really long way for when hiccups do happen along the way down the road and when you do hit bumps in the road with that tenant and maybe uh, something happens the first or second week of their move in that was unexpected and a Maybe it's the winter and a pipe breaks or something like that. And they can have that level of trust because they've had that experience with you leading into that relationship that they can trust and they have confidence that you're going to be able to handle it instead of freaking out or panicking or um, whatever that scenario plays out like. But it just gives you a little bit of that extra rapport with that customer just from day one. Um, and so a CRM really allows you to have access to all of that information, as, assuming that you've been putting in those uh, different points of contact and the interactions you've had with them. It really does go a long way towards improving your relationship with that person from day one. And it will help you down the road when, uh, make no mistake, there will be bumps in the road with any tenant in any rental property. And it's always good to have that relationship established so that when those things do happen, um, it just has a lot more impact with the person that you have that business relationship with. So that wraps up our uh, six reasons why you should use a CRM for your rental business and the impact that it will have on your rental business. Not to mention the fact that just simply tracking your interaction with somebody from day one to the day that they move in is extremely important and allows you to really capitalize on the tours that you're taking because you now have a complete database of who you've toured with at a rental property. You can reach out to those people and send them follow-up emails and say, hey, we toured uh, yesterday. I just wanted to make sure you didn't have any questions. Uh, if you do, feel free to reach out to me. Here's some more information on the rental property and about the local area. And here's what previous tenants have said about us. And here's a review and so on and so forth. It just really allows you to have a much more efficient marketing system in place to capitalize on every single point of contact with every single person that you have reaching out to you about your rental property. And while it's important in a really 
uh, intense rental market, it's even more so important if you're in more of a cooler market that um, it's a little bit harder to get people to uh, rent your your apartment or your single family home or whatever it is. And so having a CRM that really allows you to capitalize on that, no matter what market you're in, is extremely important. But especially if you're in a little bit more of a cooler market uh, for rentals. So as always, we appreciate you taking the time to listen to these podcasts. We hope that you have found value from it. Um, the Tenant Cloud software platform does actually feature a CRM now, and we continue to improve it. It's available, I believe, on the advanced plan or higher. So if you do not have a CRM, uh, Tenant Cloud does actually provide that now on our advanced plan or higher. It's a new uh, feature on our platform, and we look forward to continuing to improve it. To improve it. And again, as always, we appreciate you taking on time to listen to this podcast. Feel free to check us out on Tenant Cloud YouTube, uh, Tenant Cloud YouTube channel. Just type in Tenant Cloud YouTube channel on Google; it'll come up. Uh, also, Tenant Cloud Help Center. And we'll look forward to speaking with you next time.